Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Also, please ignore my background. It's getting worse and worse with every video, I know. I'm already working on a nicer solution, but for now you have to live with the grossness and stare at all these bits and grannies my art has left on this mat. Moving on. So today I want to do another thrift store makeover with this thing, this plant pot thingy. It's a plant pot with a pumpkin on it, obviously, and it has a very rough surface. It's pretty damaged, actually. There's some... Let me just... Uh, ah, okay, um... Hello, voiceover me here. And as you probably noticed, I'm trying the live commentary again, and I'm doing a pretty decent job so far. Yeah, so far. Anyway, I spent the next five minutes or so explaining things before opening a surprise that I mentioned just at the beginning of this talk flash, and it's just very annoying. So I'm gonna skip to the opening part so you don't get bored. Unpack this thing. That thing is a gift from a good friend of mine and I'm so happy and thankful for it. It's supposed to be a fake cat skull, but based on the recessions, it's not that great. I'm expecting it to be very small and not have any details whatsoever, but let's see. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> All right. Oh, who would have thought? A mini package and a big package. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's put this aside. This. Okay, I hope it's not as crappy as the people said. Alright, alright, here we go. Oh my god. It's a lot bigger than I expected. I thought it would be like this small. Oh god, the packaging is horrible. Oh no. It looks cool. I think it's a little bit too expensive. It's supposed to be for an aquarium and one of the people who bought it said, well, it's it's floating, <laughs> so don't put it in, a, in an aquarium unless you want the skull to float. It's weird <laughs> how it just look like. I know it doesn't sound like it, but I got really inspired and jumped directly into testing how I could combine these two. See, I already wanted to make over the plant pit, but then my friend sent me this cat skull, which is amazing by the way, and it got me very excited. So I made it my mission to combine these two. I had so many ideas right off the bat, but I couldn't decide, so I got out my sketchbook to kind of make up my mind and help me figuring out what to do. I'm sorry, my camera didn't want to film the last bit, but yeah. After thinking about it for a while, I liked the idea with the skull on the front the most. I was also asking some friends for ideas, because the plant pot has a very tough... Can you say tough? Anyway, it has a very tough form to get any ideas. But the one who sent me the cat skull also had an amazing idea. He said the form reminds him of a lantern. And that's actually perfect. So I'm turning this plant pot cat skull mashup into a very cool gothic lantern. I'm also going to craft a little roof for it. This way it can be useful as a storage decor thingy. This is going to be a lot of work. As you can see on my sketch, there are some swirly thingies and stuff like that. 
I also can't do these handle thingies because the plant pot is very heavy and if I stick my air dry clay onto it, you're going to want to pick it up like this and it ain't sticking on it, okay? This is going to break. So no handles or anything like that, but some decors, really fancy patterns, that's what I'm gonna make. Let's start the project, shall we? Have fun with the montage and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'm more than happy to answer it for you. But yeah, I'll see you again once this thing is done to share my final thoughts with you.
Okay, wow, that took way longer than I expected. According to my film diaries, I spent over 8 hours on this makeover. And that's not including all the time I spent thinking on what to do. But I think it was worth it. It's not perfect, of course, and the clay I was working with is pretty cheap. But it still worked, and the rough look kind of suits the mood of this piece. I'm also surprised how well I managed to paint this glowing effect. It really shines through these black frames. And even the cat skull is just... Ah, yes, I absolutely love it. Shout out to my amazing friend. Thank you so, so much. I definitely have to get my hands on more clay, because it's so much more fun if I can add to the objects. It gives me so much more variety. By the way, I used the wood glue to glue the pieces together and I will put a list of my materials that I use in the description. But yeah, this was a big project for me and I really hope you enjoyed this video and are satisfied with the outcome. I certainly am. Of course, there are a lot of other things I could have used the skull for and maybe I get some more to play around. Would you like to see that? And oh, I didn't use the underbite, so that might be another video because I already have an idea for that. So subscribe and ring the bell if you don't want to miss any other uploads. I do thrift store makeovers, other art related things and speed drawing Saturdays where I upload a time lapse drawing every weekend. If you want to see me paint or draw something in particular, no problem, you are always welcome to leave a comment with your wishes. Thank you so much for watching, if you had a good time, you can hit that like button, I would really appreciate that. That's it for today, please stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!